Enemy said, I miss you. Who? But you look yourself. Bro, honestly, I don't like this testing that they do because it is just a sign of emotional immaturity and a form of manipulation like what are you trying to achieve you're basically insinuating to him that you don't trust him it's just childish and insecure behavior that's all that is friendly reminder going to the gym doesn't make you better than anyone else what are we doing this he literally just wanted to cry and then the nurse that was with him goes oh do we want to put her down for like weight loss and he's like no let's just see how she does with the paper that he gave me i know i need to lose weight but i don't know for reference i'm 190 and i'm five 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 six i don't know it's like if i say i need to lose weight it's different than other people telling me and i know he's my doctor but I hate to break it to you or anyone else that thinks this way. Your doctor is not fat phobic. It's almost like he's uh, doing his job. The harsh reality that not a lot of people want to hear is that if you continue down this unhealthy lifestyle, it's going to create a lot of problems, maybe including you dying. So uh, your doctor that told you to exercise or hop on a caloric deficit if possible, he's not fat phobic, all right? It's almost like he's uh, trying to help you. I don't know. Stop, 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 stop. everything you know nice braids mm -hmm. five percent tint on the lips you know what i'm saying mm. yeah, and her eyelashes oh my god and tax let's see your nails mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can work on that one we can oh, work you can on pay you can pay for her nails alive mm. as a zimbabwean uh you know there's this thing hey, hey, hey. I, i'm very sorry to zimbabwean men no, 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 but then there's this thing that we call sma stingy That's men association <laughs> ultimatum and I told him that if he didn't propose to me by December 31st at 11:59 that I was gonna leave because I feel like I do all the wifey duties with no ring or no sign of commitment we have two kids and I literally do everything and after all of these years I feel like he knows he should know already if he wants to marry me or not first off if you're gonna tell me you have this date to marry you you can leave, because I am not going to marry you when you tell me to marry you. I'm not running on your time to propose to you. And I'm going to wait. And what's going to happen? If you're you, not going to propose. If you leave, then you weren't meant for me. Listen, if you're going to start giving ultimatums, I don't think that you should get married. This is what makes modern day women angry with men, because they don't have control over relationships and how serious it can be. And a man is going to take that step when he knows that he's able to take that step. And when he finds a woman that's worth taking that step for. You want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. Do you not get it? Sorry. Oh, okay. You guys can imagine the comments on this one, but a lot of weightlifters have weighed in on this and they have said that this is actually the quickest and best way to remove the weight off of her. And what I think should be appreciated is that that man did not even hesitate. She asked for help and he gave her help as quickly as he could without really processing it. But what I fear is that this type of video makes it to the wrong side of social media, you know, like the feminist side, and the man gets torn apart for how he removed the weight from her. What this would lead to is obviously him getting criticized, which is not fair, but also other young men will see this and it might cause them to react differently to a similar situation if it occurred to them. And that to me is not okay. We're not making the world a better place in that case. This is amazing. Biggest Three, surprise face two, ever! Bit of an overreaction, but I can answer your question. 
because the countdown ended. I hope that helps. As a formerly pregnant person, I really don't like that bad behavior without apology just kind of gets swept under the rug because hormones. If I'm allowed to use my hormones as an excuse for bad behavior, what then is stopping men from using their hormones to, say, hit their wife with something out of anger? After all, while a woman's hormone cycle is every 28 days, a man's is every 24 hours. We know that men's testosterone spikes every morning and every evening, so if he gets a little rude and sassy with you during those times, it's okay, it's just a silly, goofy time because it's hormones. No, that wasn't a gender reveal, it was a character reveal. You were so angry that this dumbass confetti cannon went off one millisecond before yours did that you didn't even acknowledge the gender of the baby, which is the whole reason you're there. I get that she kind of did this to roast herself a little bit, but I really hope that she did apologize and reflect on this. Because, honey, if you are expecting things to go perfectly right and according to plan, your parents now, that's over. I saw that on Twitter. Yeah. My and there's another, there's another photo. <laughs> there's another photo that we definitely can't show. Jeez. <laughs> Molly, I love you. But that photo and the corresponding photo that comes with it. I gotta be honest. It sounds like you're in a relationship. You're happy. Are you in love? I don't know. That photo, though. We're just friends. It's gonna be a wrap for like 90% of dudes, son. It's they're they see that shit. It is a wrap, son. <laughs> they see the other photo. The other photo, I can't show what it. It's is not the other YouTube. Photo? Pretend. Oh my God! Wait, Bob Johnson sent me these butt plugs. I'm sorry. Like, I love this stuff right now. <laughs> I gotta say, 99% of men, if they know that photo's out there, you can't be wifed. I'm sorry. I it's don't around. want to be wifed by them. If that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you want to be wifed in general? Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, right? In the dark recesses of your husband's mind will be that photo. Oh, yeah. Pretend this is not this color. Okay. It's huge. Huge. <laughs> like, I'm, is, time... Am I insecure for that? Like, no. I'm sorry. Do, do it's you a want, wrap. Do you want... It is a wrap, son. I can't. Okay, sorry, do, sorry, do you sorry. want children? I'm, up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do want children. Oh, my God. I feel like so, I know where you're going with this. This girl doesn't belong to the streets. She is the streets. Where's my food? What? Where's my food? Oh, you didn't get... Oh, my bad, man. How bad, family? There you go, my love. I love you, sugar. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Why? Why? Why is this it? Sugar, you, you just your baby's already out. You don't need a lot of food no more. The baby's out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, your turn. Damn it, gotta use my wild card. You know, and maybe if you would lose a couple pounds, you could get some more stuff done around the house. It's like all I do is work my butt off and nothing ever gets done around here. You just sit around watching Family Feud. You know, things are about to change around here and you're gonna start doing what you're told. I was like, dang bro, you really talk to your wife that way? You gotta work on yourself, Pedro. What are you doing? I made you a cup of coffee. Oh, well, thank you, baby. You're welcome. As women, can we start acknowledging the fact that men are physically assaulted in public by other women all the time and no one does a thing? No one even bats an eye. Some people even laugh. But if it's a girl and the shoe's on the other foot, it's all out war. And all oh, the argument is that he can defend himself. He's bigger than her. He's a man. You know what happens if he tries to defend himself? Y'all don't want to talk about that. Truth hurts, babe. Yeah. It's a fact. Men get abused, but no one cares. And that's the sad reality that men have to live with. Nobody cares when men get assaulted and abused. They only care when it happens to women. I think girls should get their nails and toes done every two to three weeks. Do what every two to three weeks? I'm sorry, no. But I'm happy to say the next lady has a very good point. It's expensive to get a mani-pedi every two weeks. It's like at least a hundred bucks. Or like just take pride in having a clean nothing, like a See, clear polish. I like just like a bare nail. Like with nothing with on nothing it? With nothing on it, yeah. You think you need to have polish on your nails? I think you need to have something, even oh, if it's clear. Why? To keep up bougie appearances? I think you need to have clean cuticles. Yeah, no, clean cuticles, fine. Cut nails, yeah. fine. But like, I actually think it's beautiful when girls don't have anything on their nails. And I'm inclined to agree. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But listen to this. I think you'd probably drive a Prius. 
And what's wrong with driving a Prius? Oh, that's right, nothing. There is nothing wrong at all with deciding to drive an economy car as opposed to a luxury one, and for a person deciding not to spend their money on frivolous things like having their nails done. But I understand it is the American way. Spend, spend, spend that money with no regard at all for how much money a person actually has in their bank account or how much debt they might decide to go into, because keeping up appearances for others is all that matters for some. Literally the only place I'll let her take meat from another man. while on a date just leave that day immediately leave her on that day by herself and her phone because that's just disrespectful why would you go on a date if you're gonna stay on your phone all of the time